Well, good morning, GSAC family, GSAC TV. Today, Dr. Wade is back here, October what, 26, a few days before Halloween. And we have Coco here with us. And Dr. Wade, Coco is here for number four on DHLPP. Mm -hmm. um, explain to our viewers about the puppy shots and what they are and why they are important. Okay, so puppies um, and kittens, we usually do a series of vaccines, just like you think about infants have to go in and get their series of booster shots. Right. So the same with dogs and cats. Um, we give dogs as a core vaccine, a distemper combo um, vaccine. And the combination is for several different viruses that dogs can be exposed to. And um, the distemper is the first in the list of the combination. So it's actually a distemper parvo parainfluenza um, and hepatitis vaccines all in one shot. Um, and there are other vaccines that they can get in addition to those in combination, but those are the most common ones when we do the puppy series. Um, there's also a lepto vaccine, which is a bacteria, it's not a virus, but it is a bacteria organism that's transmitted by small mammals like possums, raccoons, squirrels, um, and things and mice and rats and things of that nature. So if you have a large dog that likes to hunt and kills the possum that daringly crosses through the backyard, you want to make sure that your dog is protected against lepto. Um, and so that's one of the things that um, Coco is getting today: the distemper parvo lepto combination vaccine, um, and it's the fourth in the puppy series. So um, after this, Coco will be done for a year and not do for another booster until year two. So Dr. Wade, now, um, usually when you get a dog from a breeder, the breeder does the first shot. Now, I know we do the shots every three weeks, but some people do it every two weeks. Is there a difference? Is there a reason why two or three weeks that doesn't make a difference? Um, so generally, um, we do three to four because that is the length of time for the body to kind of respond and you're trying to catch, when you do the booster, you're trying to boost the immunity of the vaccine. So once you give them the initial shot, um, within three weeks, the level of antibodies is going to start to go down and then you can start to, you know, I should say, hit them with another one, mm -hmm. vaccinate them again and kind of cause it to rise back up, that antibody level to rise back up. So um, two weeks, um, may not necessarily be, um, if it's not necessary, if an animal may be inclined to have a vaccine reaction, it may be a little bit overwhelming for their uh, immune system. Um, but I have seen that on some paperwork with the breeders when we'll do two weeks. So then it really also depends on the shot because sometimes breeders will start with only the parvo vaccine because they're trying to get that in early and then they'll come back in two weeks with a distemper parvo combination. So when you get your dog from the breeder, you need to find out exactly what shot to give them already. Right, and, them already. and then there are some <clears throat> vaccines where the label will say within a certain amount of time. Yeah, like I've I know that. with Lyme vaccines, we will do those in two to three weeks as opposed to three to four. Mm -hmm. um, so it really depends on the vaccine. So what, why do we start at four or five, was it five weeks to start taking the six, shot? Yeah, so we usually start at six, that's a really great question. So the reason we start at six weeks is because when they are with mom and they're nursing on mom, mm -hmm. they start out that colostrum, which is the first milk that has this very heavily laden with antibodies. Mm -hmm. So when they got mom's milk in there, they have a level of antibody protection on their own. Mm -hmm. And it takes up to six weeks for mom's antibodies to start to diminish in their immune system. Mm -hmm. So before six weeks, they don't usually need it because they've got coverage with mom's antibodies. But after six weeks, that's when we need to step in to try and help boost that level back up with the vaccines. And they're not, their immune systems are kind of naive, so they don't know how to make them on their own. So if we do it before six weeks, it's not that it's going to be harmful for them, it's just that the vaccine is probably going to sit there and their body's not going to respond to it because they already have a running level of antibodies on their own. But when, they, when those levels come down and we give them that vaccine, their immune system recognizes something that's foreign and it starts to act to fight against it and it starts to generate those antibodies. So, gotcha. yeah, so, so now the wellness checks, when should recommend it that they do their first wellness check? So um, 
you can actually really do that whenever you'd like. If you just got the dog, sometimes the breeder or the pet store will have a stipulation within the um, contract that you have to have a wellness done right. within a certain amount of times, otherwise the sale will be null and void if there's any problems that arise right. after that. Um, but if you have a new puppy and you just want to make sure that it's well and in good health, it's never a bad time to have them come in for a wellness check because then you get to ask your questions about you know, how much should I feed them? And you get to be educated about the different preventative type measures, flea and tick prevention, heartworm prevention, um, and different things like that. So, you know, it's never a bad time to have a wellness visit, even if they're not due for vaccines, but you don't have to rush them in before six weeks if they're doing well. Okay. Well, you're watching GSAC TV. We're here with Dr. Louise Wade from Wayne Animal Hospital. If you have any questions for Dr. Wade when she's not here, her, her number is 215-224-2764, 215-224-2764, and she's open Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Right, Dr. Wade? Yep, that sounds about right. She's <laughs> off Monday and Wednesday. We give her two days off. Right? <laughs> I'm so gracious. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to give her, so Coco's in for DHLPP number four. Yes. Now, after that, what does he do for his rabies shot, his first rabies shot? So, the rabies vaccine is actually given as early as three months of age. So is that what, 12 weeks? 12 are? weeks, right? 12 so, weeks. Coco has not, we'll check the record. Coco has not yet had the, the rabies vaccine. Coco's old enough and eligible to get the rabies vaccine. By law, they, we don't give it before 12 weeks. Um, but some breeders, weeks. some breeders will advise their clients to delay the rabies until six months. That's definitely a personal option, um, but legally they're old enough and eligible at three months or 12 weeks of age, um, not before. Okay. Well, like I say, if you have any questions for Dr. Wade, you can reach her here at Green Street Mother. She's here the second and fourth Monday of every month or at, at Wayne Court Animal Hospital. So thank you all for watching. This is GSAC TV. We'll be back next, next in two weeks. Thanks. <laughs>